we can't ignore I can't ignore even though he's been through something traumatic you know the woman that was viciously assaulted went through something traumatic as well what's up y'all so I just want to address things as they come What's up everybody, it's your girl B. Octavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is B. Octavia, I am 24 and I'm from Washington DC. Now today will be a part two to the Lil Reese video that I did. But before I get into what this video is about and get into talking about it, I am an entrepreneur with my own business, Crush On You Beauty. I will have that in the description. So, like I told y'all, today will be part two to the Lil Reese video. And I wanted to do a part two because I watched the Vlad interview where he brought up the Lil Reese domestic violence case. And he, he brought it up to say that you know ever since then his rap career has been kind of at the same place where it was before that incident i did tell y'all that y'all should support him after him being through something very traumatic but we can't ignore i can't ignore even though he's been through something traumatic you know the woman that was viciously assaulted went through something traumatic as well and with that being said i do hope that she's okay you know i hope that there hasn't been any permanent pain long-lasting pain that because of that attack but this is what i will say now i feel like with that video that i made coming out I definitely had to jump on this because I don't want to make it seem like I support a woman beater or a person that beat a woman and you know it's not just speculation it's not just rumored there was actual video of this assault and he was in the wrong I'm hoping that with everything that he's been through especially but before his shooting I'm hoping that he learned from his ways and he knew wholeheartedly that he was wrong. Now, my thing is with places like D.C. and Chicago, we can't negate or ignore the fact that women are a huge target and the women of these urban communities go through a lot of abuse both verbally and physically from these young black men you know this is yet another example of that so i'm gonna run down the situation and then i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on you know his career so the victim came home from i think they said a night of partying or something like that she came home and she found 15 to 20 people in her apartment in her apartment okay so once she see that she mad she trying to figure out who let all these people in who invited all these people and made this kickback without her knowledge so after going around a party and trying to figure out who actually held this who's holding this gathering she went to taylor which that's laurie's last name she went to him and amongst other people and told them that they had to leave so after she told them that he amongst other people refused to go after they refused to go a argument ensued it was seen on the video that the woman got pushed by Lil Reese pushed a few times and then she was pushed to the ground where she was stomped out by him and a few other people and that's what the report says now a family member and a friend you know after 
I don't even know how long, you know, because this video, it wasn't very lengthy, but it was enough, you know, it was enough where... I mean, it was so many people around, you gotta just break that up instantly, you know. Because you just can't, first of all, she not in the wrong because it's her apartment, you know. So after being viciously attacked by Lil Reese and a few other people, she fled her own apartment. Like, do y'all really need somewhere to chill that bad? Like, I know Chicago's very dangerous and things like that, but maybe you should stay home. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's, I, I mean, it's crazy because I remember when this video got aired out. And I remember being on Twitter because Twitter was real popping back then, like 2012, 2013. And, um,. It was a lot. It was a lot to process because, you know, you want to separate a person's music and, you know, them being talented from what they do in their personal life. But when it comes to stuff like that, it's very personal for me and it's very personal for a lot of people, you know, because... If you've ever witnessed domestic violence or been in a household like that, it's just hard to want to support somebody after that, you know. I would hope that after all this time, like I said, that he has learned from the era of his ways and he doesn't do that again. But we will only unfortunately know if a woman builds that type of confidence to say something or um confidence to call the police or whatever because she's so in fear of her life a lot of women don't call a lot of women do not get the protection that they need even after having a protection order you know a lot of women are still in fear to this day so you know the question the huge question right now is does he deserve a second chance well Chris Brown got a second chance. I feel like if if we gonna hold it to that standard, and I don't want to keep bringing up his situation because people bring up Chris Brown and the situation with Rihanna as ammunition, and that's not what I'm doing. But if you're willing to forgive a person that's that's done the same exact thing, you know, we don't know to the extent like the stomping and all that shit, but. Um, if y'all willing to forgive him, who he is a talented, very, you know, giving or whatever type of person, very talented, period. And I feel like that's why a lot of people forgave him or gave him a second chance. I'm not forgiving Lil Reese. I'm not forgiving Chris Brown. But I will give you another chance. Like, I'm not going to forget it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to forget even though I said I forgot, when I watched the Vlad thing, I was like, oh, yeah. Maybe that's why his career has kind of been, like, very stagnant, you know, even before the shooting. So, I still would support him, you know. The first time, it's going to be shame on you. It's shame on Lil Reese. But, you know, after people forgive him or forgive men who beat on women and they do it again the, we're the fools you know it's shame on us so i'm gonna just like wait on that you know and not wait on it like want it to happen of course but i'm rambling at this point um i would still support Lil reese i like the song i don't take that back at all but that definitely had to be addressed to you guys and um hopefully I mean, maybe he do have to say something about it because I haven't really seen a statement, you know. Uh, it could be on Twitter or whatever, you know. Yeah, I would like to see a statement of how he feels about it. And maybe that will help him. You know, a lot of people want to hear about that. They want to hear that your outlook has changed. They want to hear where you got that from, you know. What you viewed as a young child, you know. You being a child, seeing your mother getting beat on, it could be anything. You know, what started that for you, or what made you think that that was okay? It's your girl, B. Octavia. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. 
and I will see y'all in my next one.